All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, as 2023 draws near with the generation of young, strong voices fighting for better governance and a new Nigeria, if we were to analyze the readiness of today's youth to state on elected leadership positions, what will that score sheet look like? Can we find young leaders and will the young people come out to give their support? Yes, we are the hashtag generation, or some would say, Sorosuke generation. However, can we take on the current political structures? All right, please let's hear what you have to say. And remember, you can join the conversation um, by tweeting at us at uh, Ways Show Africa. Now, um, Temi. Hi, Sanzi, I can hear you. Okay, so uh, we are discussing, obviously, how prepared uh, the... Um, young people like you and I for the upcoming um, election, 2023. Yes. So let's, let's have a little banter on that. What, how, how prepared do you think we are? Hmm. When I saw this topic about our preparation, I think it's twofold. And I, I think it's, um, I see it in two different ways. So the first way I see it is, are, are there young people in Nigeria who are building their capacity and are fit to lead us? Yes, I think there are there a number of people who have been involved in grassroots politics. There are a number of people who have a heart for leadership, who have demonstrated leadership at different positions, and they are fit to lead Nigeria. But when we talk about specifically 2023, you know, I look at it again from the perspective of how prepared are we to, you know, win the 2023 elections and you know have strategies in place and all of that and on that side i don't think we're well prepared for that actually i don't think we're ready to you know to for the 2023 elections in particular all right well i this is what um i believe that when it comes yes there are a couple of youths who are doing on the ground work but is the number enough to make an impact um i don't think so i don't think a lot of us are involved in um in local government we don't know our local government chairman and quite frankly i think in my ward uh back in the east i think i just know only two people <laughs> you know and that's just me honestly speaking because i mean we, we we are all up for for transparency so no we don't have enough people who understand what politics is all about and we are not willing to like do the on the ground work i think everybody just wakes up and figures i want to go for um governorship or at some high position we seem to forget that um there is something called called process right so but um yeah we're going to talk to our guest and then we have a lot of questions for him so now john Adohemba cio was the governorship candidate of the all progressive ground alliance apka benua state in the 2019 general elections he is a farmer and co-founder of saint isidore farms limited welcome to the show Thank you very much, Sandy. Thank you, Tammy, wherever you are. <laughs> Tammy's <laughs> joining us virtually. Okay, so now um, you already had our little um, tete a tete about the upcoming 2023 elections and how prepared the young people like us are uh, for the elections. So um, <laughs> let's first of all have your take at it. <sighs> how prepared are we? Nope. We're we, not prepared? Not at all. Why? Why do you say that? Um, it is not enough to know what the problem is. Mm -hmm. Knowing the problem or understanding what the problem is in the country is not enough. There is some two elements that are very, very critical. That's the financial liberation okay. and the mental liberation. Are the young people, how many of the young people are financially liberated? How many of them are mentally liberated? Who are their role models? Hmm. Who are they looking at? Who are they looking up to? So, yes, you, where you see that there are some young people who have the financial muzzle, or what you call in politics, the financial war chest. Those ones are sitting and waiting for leadership to drop on their laps. Hmm. Because they think, okay, at the end of the day, I'm going to go up to some godfather, uh, I'll prostrate, drop a few coins, and he say, okay, John, go and take so -so -so position. Hmm. Then the ones who are mentally liberated, 
who don't want to latch onto these godfathers, um, aka slave masters, mm. don't have the money. So because they don't have the money, it becomes very difficult for them. To run an election, you need to have the money. Finances. Yes. Even if you are not going on the streets of your local government, of your state, of the nation, doling out money. You are going to move from point A to point B. You are going to buy fuel in the vehicles. Do you are going to do campaigns. You are going to run publicity. Mm -hmm. You are in the media. You know that all of this of is expensive. So you need that money. So that's one. How many of them have the money? To be able, there must be a realignment. Alignment, realignment, strategizing. You heard uh, Temi said something about a process. Mm -hmm. Yes, there must be that synergy. If we don't have that synergy, the big guys, the fathers, the old men, the old women, they'll wait. They know what it is. They know what to do to us. Towards the election, they call you, they give you a few bucks. You are the one who is running their campaign on social media. You are the one who is snatching ballot boxes. You are the one who is fighting and insulting people. How many times do you see them fight themselves? Yeah, well, you know, that brings me to um, um, a, a point you made early, uh, earlier. I think perhaps it was your, or I was having a discussion before the show. So um, now, paying dues. A lot of people would say um, young people don't want to pay their dues before, you know, they just want to jump on to... Um, the top leadership position. So when we talk about this um, paying dues, a lot of people, you mentioned something about people snatching boxes yes. and all whatnot. So um, there are situations... Is that a kind of... Is that a kind no, of hold on. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> so I've seen situations where people work for these godfathers yes. and they're perhaps snatching boxes and maybe five years down the line, they are being promoted and then gradually someone just says, you know what, you've served me faithfully. I'll pick you up and then put you in some local government position because you've paid dues, right? So, and that's not the kind of dues that we, we seem to understand. Yeah. So when we talk about this paying dues, what exactly is it? Well, um... It is sad that in, the, in our climb in our country, paying dues is uh, unquestionable loyalty. Mm. A lot of the people who you have that have unquestionable loyalty are the ones we see are not mentally liberated. Now, the big man there does not want to ask, does, does not want you to ask him a question. He says, go, you go. He says, jump. And you're asking, how high do you want me to jump? They know that these young people have ideas. But like I said at the beginning, it is not just having the ideas. Now, let me tell you one thing. Let me give you some statistics. In the 2019 elections, mm -hmm. we had 84 plus million voters nationwide. 51.11% of that fell between the ages 18 and 35. Now, the old people know that the young people, the youth, have the numbers. And don't get me wrong, they are also scared that the day we stand up and say, enough is enough. Mm. We are not going to go with these people again. We will go it our own way. They know that there's going to be a problem. See what happened with the answers. They were genuinely afraid. They thought, oh, the end had come for them. But then, we didn't continue with it. We missed along the line. And so, it is rumored. Let's leave out the rumors, but we didn't mm. follow through. So, they know that if we come together and say enough is enough, no, we are not going to go there. How many young people were voted in the 2019 elections? And the ones that were voted, how many of them are mentally liberated? How many of them had the finances? Like you rightly said, okay, you have served me religiously, judiciously. Okay, go and occupy that position. Mm. In the long run, what we need is honest people. Yes, we want the youth to come in because we think the youth have the ideas. But honestly, where we are in Nigeria today, 
We don't need the old people. We don't need the young people. We need honest Nigerians to fix. It could be a young person. It could be an, an old person. person. It doesn't matter. But we need honest people. We That's need transparency we need. to yes. fix the country. Yes. Okay, you said something about NSAS, uh, and I'm going to make reference to that. But first, let me get to Temi. Temi. Oh, thank you, Sanzi. Thank you very much. So, so I was listening to you talk about how that, you know, there's a financial liberation, there's a mental liberation. And you also mentioned that, you know, it's not enough to identify the problems. It's important to solve them. And so that will be the premise for my next question. Okay. Now, we look at this idea of young people getting ready. And I'm thinking to myself, what really is the way forward? I ask this because... When we see how politics is being done in Nigeria, it is a dirty game. And you speak about how, how you know, people should be honest and we want honest people in the system. And these are young people. Some of these young people have you know, left some political parties or have said we don't want to be associated with certain political parties because we don't believe in their values or the God for that reason or for some reason we would like to start our own political parties. And we find that, you know, there's that issue of financial, um, you know, that financial aspect, enough funds to be able to do banners, to be able to do posters, and to also be able to do the illegitimate, the illegal things, you know, that people do for campaign. So I'm really thinking, what really is the way forward for young people who would actually like to go through this through legitimate process? Because there's, I hear people say things like, oh, if you're going to win, the way forward is strategies. And then when you look at these strategies, strategies when you're playing against people who play dirty, it seems that you might need to become dirty again. What hmm. is the way forward when we talk about legitimate legal means? Is there any way forward? Well, Temi, um, I don't agree that um, politics is a dirty game. Politics is not a dirty game, but the players are dirty. So must you be dirty? No, you mustn't be dirty. How many... I, I put the context to politics, Nigerian politics. Yes, I know, I know. And I, of course, I'm talking about Nigerian politics. It is not the game that is dirty. It is the players that are dirty. And now, um, um, how many old people voted in Big Brother Nigeria? How many? It was the young people that were voting. So why can't the young people in the same light come together and say, look, if it is uh, every week or every day, I'm going to drop 50-50 Naira, all the young people between ages 18 and 35, we are going to drop 50-50 Naira or 100-100 Naira that you used to vote. Do you know that that is going to be so much amount of money? So you do that. You have your own political platform, you fund that, and you move from there. The truth of the matter is, I was in the elections in 2019, and when I got to talking to, I, I made efforts to meet a lot of the young people who were supporting me on social media. Guess what? I found out that a lot of, majority of them didn't have a voter's card. So how do you support me? How, how do you support my candidature? It is not enough for you. The social media does not vote. How many of them are ready to go back to their villages and be that lone voice in their pulling boot in the villages? This is, this is the strategy we are talking about. When the villagers see that there is an enlightened person in that pulling boot, the villagers, they are careful of what they do. It happens. Sometimes you become the enemy. Can I, can I bring up I a follow-up question? Um, you... Temi, Temi, hold on. We'll go on a break, and okay. then when we come back, we'll start with your follow-up right. question. This is Waze. We'll be right back.